Hello, this is Jamie from Randomized User, back with more of the best games from the Ludum Dare 46 Game Jam, where all games are on the theme of Keep It Alive. Do check the playlist for a load more videos in this series, there's already another 10 before this one, and there will be winners videos to come. So we start by raging against the dying of the light in this new card game called Do Not Go Gently. I think by the definition all the games in the Ludum Dare are new, but whatever. So this is a quite a simple card game in which you have a deck of cards and each time you get dealt two cards you have to choose one, either the face up one or the mystery face down one. The purpose is to find the five special blueprint cards in the deck, but you've also got to make sure that you don't end up with a fire doused or running out of ammo or health or whatever. At the moment we've got a choice of rain douses your fire or mystery, well obviously we want to go for the mystery. And yes, we already have our first part. I managed to find some circuit boards in the plane's cockpit. Maybe I can build radio circuit board from this. Right, what we get next? Monster 3, a huge monster. Ooh, the artwork's been updated since last time I played this. Ooh, that's much nicer. So I don't really want to fight the monster. Let's go for the mystery card again. We've got painkillers. We've got extra health. All the way up to eight. This will get me through the worst. Nice. We've got wood. Adds one to the fire. Or mystery. Now we don't actually need to do that because we're already topped out. Uh oh, rain. Oh my god, we've lost two fires. I thought the storm had passed. I guess it's back to make life more miserable. No, bugger. Monster one, tiny monster. Versus mystery. Give mm, another mystery. Still feel fairly safe. Oh, it's another tiny monster. <laughs> I hear a little shriek. A small creature jumps about the darkness with razor sharp claws. Right, so I just basically have to choose how much ammo I need to use. It's only got two health, so let's go for somewhere... Yeah, let's use two ammo and hopefully that'll do it. Bang, bang. I think I hit it for five damage there. Good, I hardly got a scratch. I did not lose any health, nice. Mushroom, probably best to leave it alone. Or mystery. Well, let's do as the card says. Ammo, extra bullets. Good, that actually replaces what we had. Okay. Another monster, mystery. Berries, which is a bit of a mystery. Let's go for that. Well, that increased my health by one. Nice. Ah, find the Transformers. Turns out this post Ludum Dare version is a bit more complicated, a bit more balanced um, from what I can tell so far. So, extra ammo or mystery? Well, I'm going to go for mystery, believe it or not. Oh, a rabbit! But I had to use a precious bullet. Okay, so plus health, minus ammo. Uh oh, the berries have come back to haunt me. And I've lost the health. Uh oh, the fire's going down and all because we've used up all our cards. My fire is burning a little lower. We still need to find three more things. Oh no! That was the last two healths. Oh, it's, yeah, suddenly this. I mean, when I first played this, well, I played it through a couple of times with the early version, and it was actually quite trivial to beat. But now it's actually become a bit meatier. And I actually had to make some good decisions there. So yeah, I think I'm yeah really enjoying this even even more so this time. This is Hairfair. This is a game where you've got a little planet which you can fly around and you have to defend islands against bugs. Now, I should say straight out with this game is the controls are not for everyone and it did take me a while to actually get even slightly used to them. So you won't be able to see me fly around brilliantly, I'm afraid. Essentially, it's if you press left or right, you don't actually go left or right, you just uh, tilt yourself and you actually have to press up or down to actually go anywhere. It's hard to get used to if you're not used to that sort of flying. Right, anyway, and you actually do need to find some islands and things. I use my compass at the top to find my way home. Uh-oh, I can see bugs on the on the horizon. Right, so I should be able to shoot them down if I can just wrestle my plane under control. Absolutely charming and very Studio Ghibli, this game. Oh, come on, ow! Oh, here we go, here we go. Now we're cooking with gas or whatever planes use these days. Probably solar energy. Although, best not to fly at night, I guess. So we're coming up on Lemon Island, which is starting to lose health, so we've got to be careful. Right, let's slowly make our way towards the bees! Yeah, for, for bees they are! Come on, get got. Shoot, have I actually shot a single one yet? I think so. I've got a few of them. Oh, it's also aiming for me now. Uh-oh. Leak Island! Okay, so I've killed a few bugs there, but I'm... Oh, God. Oh, oh no! No! <laughs> Also, I panicked. And also, I seem to be running out of um, ammo there as well. Let's have another go. Incompetent buffoon. <laughs> anyway, let's go over to Petal Island. Let's have actually have an appreciation of the art here, because this is just lovely. We're going to have a bit of a, a low-flying pass. Oh, no, man. Uh, huh. 
I'm down. There's a the lighthouse. Old Petal Lighthouse, as it's known. Careful. Hopefully the light isn't solid. Nope, the light is fine. So far we haven't got any indication that bergs are coming, although Petal Island does at the moment seem to have the lowest energy. I'm doing it again. Stop. Stop. No. There we go. I'm fine. You can also play this on uh, mouse and keyboard. Uh, I am currently on Xbox controller. Oh, bugs! Bugs! Okay, let's get let's get uh, on them. They're on my twelve, as I believe pilots say when they're possibly drunk. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, no, no, no! I, I, I'm in the clouds, <laughs> making flying even harder. So as you can see, I can't control this for shite. But at least them, um, at least the bugs are getting a taste of my whatever the hell pilots give bees. So, some sort of reverse honey. <laughs> I don't know. But other than the controls, I just, I'm just absolutely in love with this. This is Keep It Afloat. It's a kind of rhythm game with, with a few twists. Also pirates. Also one of the few games that has a yar button on the menu screen. Yar. And also a who oh. button. They do nothing else. It's great. Right, so essentially we just have to press left or right click. Uh, so let's actually click on the next here. So, uh, when you, um, you've got to hit the beat um, by pressing left and right um, over, over subsequent beats to um, indicate that you want the boat to move forward on the next turn. Um, you have to press it right twice if you actually want to attack a ship that's coming upon, upon you. And you have to press left twice to repair any damage that you've got. So let's put this into practice. Um, yeah. So it's, it's done in a very kind of interesting sort of a puppet show style. Um, so, the beat is at the top, and I don't actually have to, like, constantly do it, like, every single turn, because we have to let the crew actually respond to our actions. So we want it to move forward, so we press left, right, left, right. So as you can see, I'm not doing that every single turn, just the ones to give them the orders. Wait for him to do that. Are we doing well? So we won't actually get attacked straight away. It'll take a while a while. Oh, here we go. Right. Right. Right this time. Left. Right. Ooh, ooh. I accidentally added an extra one there, and they, it confused them, and they stopped. So this time, let's wait. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Left. Right. Yeah. Ho. Left. Right. This is doing well. Uh-oh. I don't know how to deal with these. It always hits me. Maybe I just have to attack it. Oh yes, perfect. Although that time I, I didn't actually keep quiet up with them and I, I forgot to actually do do something on the beat. The, the one thing I had a problem with getting into this is um, to start with it didn't feel like the, um, the actual... Um, the tapping of the arrows was actually quite on the beat. It felt like you had to do it slightly before. But I seem to be getting better at that now. I'm not sure if I'm compensating for it, or whether I was wrong in the first place. We're coming up another ship. I think you can do this from quite a long way away. So we should be fine. Oh! There's two of them! Holy sh... Oh, oh and I also missed. Oh! Hang on, I'm completely messing this up now, because I got discombobulated. Let's attack. Come on. There we go. That's more like it. Shot them out of the bloody sky slash ocean. Now I do actually need to repair my ship because we're a bit buggered. So left and then left this time. There we go. We've got all four beers left. Oops. <laughs> that was completely the wrong thing there. Uh oh. Right. Right. This time. This time. Uh oh. Oh, ow! Okay, that would confuse me. <laughs> we shot their bloody arrows right out of the sky. Cool. And so it goes. It's really quite charming and clever, this. Once you, once you get into it, once you actually get the knack, um, it's kind of compelling. In a simple sort of way. There's always one, isn't there? <laughs> They've been saucy with the theme. Theme being Keep It Alive, and the game is called The Keep! It's Alive! Let's have a go. So, we are the castle, believe it or not. Everything's fine. I heard this place is haunted. Ah! It's me! The castle! Ha! Feed! Feed me! There we go. Very straightforward first level. Let's move on to the next. So there'll be more people, and eventually we'll get more different sorts of people. So, we've got to be... Listen... Ha! 
and toss them in the air. Ha! Oh, he fell. There he is. Ha! Stop, 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 stop. Here. And also, you! Got you! And get you. Missed. Get you! Got you. Excellent. Three star rating. Everything is good. Right, let's move on. Right, so we've got a sli one slightly different guy this time. I think he's a fasty. So let's eat him first. And then the rest of them will come in due course. You can actually be very sedate about this. See, if it gently does it. Easily feeds the castle. There we go. Next level. Five eaten. None escaped. Now we've got some night lads, so we've got to be very careful here. Although, they don't seem to be that tough, so we should be fine, I think. I don't think, I'd, I, don't think I want to stomp on the thick arrows, though. Okay, we've got some fasties and we've got some knights now. Bloody hell, he was right on the very edge. And yo, stop, stop, and stop. Stomp! Oh shit, I lost one! Damn it, they were all very on the outside there. That was the most vexing. Two stars that time. Uh-oh, we have a boss. Right, let's immediately get him. Ah! Yeah, it's fine. He does seem to be very tough, actually. He just seems to be a bit, well, frankly, a bit pissed, really. <laughs> In my gob you go, you little turd. Right, so let's skip on to later on. See when things get really terrifying. Let's go for... I haven't actually seen this one. Let's see what it's like. Oh my god, there's a million of them. Um, okay. Kill! Ugh! Stomp everything! I don't know if you actually control the right fist or not. I don't think so. Fast. Come on, come on, come on. All the fasties have long since gone, but who cares? Huh. Oh, missed. I'm oh, no, it's got it, got it, got it. Oh, you and all! You've got no trousers on! That knight had no trousers! Dirty medieval... <laughs> a saucy little trollop. There we go. So this is a silly game. This has been a tough week for all of us. In setting up for Ludum Dare, I decided I wanted to make a game that instilled a sense of calm and thoughtfulness, rather than one of manic action, as I had originally considered. For this reason, I took inspiration from the mathematician John Conway, who passed away earlier this week. Conway is best known for his game of life, a never-ending simulation of cell duplication. He was an influence on many, including my hero Brian Eno, who inspired this track. In the game, cells can only survive if they join together, and if they do, they can create things of wonderful complexity. And while John's cells banded together for survival, we have been forced to distance ourselves. I found this both ironic and tragic. At this time, the hardest thing to keep alive is our sense of self. So I made this game, which isn't intended to be played for long, and perhaps it isn't a game at all. It is a space for your thoughts and feelings and reflections, and you can use it how you like. I hope you have a great game, Jam. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. For more Ludum Dare and everything indie, subscribe to Randomize User and click the bell to be notified when new videos go live. If you enjoy these videos, you can support me with a one-off tip at Buy Me A Coffee or join my Patreon. Check the description for links to those and the Ludum Dare 46 playlist. Bye bye.